Hello everyone and welcome to possibly another review. Today I am going to be reviewing Deep Desert Brawl from the far off year of 2008. So yeah, earlier today me, my brother, and my dad went to a hobby store, but we just couldn't pick out anything because there were there was so much to choose from and eventually I picked out this near the end of our trip there. Yeah, um, I guess we should read the bio on the back of the box, because I don't know what to do. Hidden deep in the driest desert on earth, Decepticon Brawl waited for a new Decepticon leader to emerge. Though the Autobots searched for him, they never even came close to finding him. It enraged him that he was forced to hide in defeat. Now that Megatron has returned, he is ready to do battle again, and determined this time to destroy as many Autobots as he can. Yeah, that's not how I remember it going down in the movie, but honestly, it's, it's cool nonetheless, so move out of the way, Scrapper. Let's make let's upset a bunch of collectors by opening this box. Okay, sorry, that was a joke or a, an attempt at a joke. I don't mean any ill will to people who leave their toys unopened. It's just for me, if I get something, I'm going to open it. And it's fine if you I mean, it's your toy, you can do what you want with it, and it's just... You, you can leave it open, you can leave it sealed, or you can open it up. It, it, it's just your call. Also, hi there in this glaring reflection. Okay, let's open this. One take only. Okay, there's Brawl. He's waited like, I don't know, 13 or so years in, in packaging. So, also, we've got his instructions and the, hold on. Ah, cool. It's a poster, which could go nicely on my wall. Yeah, maybe. All right. Um, sorry. No going back now. Oh. Alright, here he is, and already the... Seems a bit... The... The top of the tank seems a bit blue, floppy. I apologize, I am not good with words. Okay, and here is his projectile, and now you can press this and boom, you can 
decently to shoot from a few inches away. So let's transform this guy, I guess. time lapse I didn't really know what I was doing and the instructions aren't that descriptive but overall this is pretty good good now some flaws is that you can't he, he basically can't stand on uneven surfaces like this carpet, but I was able to get him to stand on, like, flat surfaces. And um, another thing is that this, this cannon doesn't really like to... It doesn't like to stay in place, it's like kind of clipped in. I guess to um also the 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 tabs on his arms are a bit mixed. So this this tab in the transformation you pull this tab off, but this one works fine. But this one is way too tight, and every time I try and pull it back, I, I'm, I feel like I might break it. Also, as you might have noticed, he's got a wobbly head. But anyway, I actually really like him. Yeah, I like the color scheme. It's it's very cool. I, I I'd say that I like it more than his design in the original two thousand seven movie. Um, yeah, I originally couldn't get him to stand at all, but then I remember that these things flip up, flip out, and. Yeah, you can get him to be in some pretty cool poses. Um, yeah, despite his flaws, I actually really like him. There's another review that I just watched, and I feel like a lot of... I, I share a lot of the same feeling towards it. I'll link it, I'll link it in the description, so... So, for comparisons, here he is to Scrapper... I think that might be a bit, well, Deep Desert Brawl isn't exactly studio series, so scale isn't really in mind, but that looks right-ish. Okay, then there's another fellow revived Decepticon in my favorite Bone Crusher, and that is probably out of scale, but that looks cool. Here he is next to Makuta Krika, and that is, that the scale is questionable. One final comparison is The Lego Ideas Wally set I got for one of my past birthdays, and yeah, d definitely in scale. In short, despite its flaws, Deep Desert Devastator is a welcome addition to my collection. He's the first non-studio series figure I've had in a while, and 
he's really good. He, I think he holds up. Oops. The inclusion of a spring-loaded projectile launcher can be quite fun, even if you can't hit any larger or better targets. Yeah, if once you get past all the glaring issues, you can really enjoy this. If you find Deep Desert Brawl anywhere, new or used, I would suggest buying it, though. Get it at a reasonable, reasonable price, but yeah, I really like this one. So I guess that's it. Goodbye and leave me alone.